हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज अनिता एज आई टोल्ड यू ऑल आई एम डूइंग वीडियोज ऑन बी एस एम एल टी सब्जेक्ट्स सो इंट्रोडक्शन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पैरासाइटोलॉजी इन दिस इज द पार्ट टू आई एम डूइंग इन द पार्ट वन आई एव डन विथ ऑल द क्लासिफिकेशन सो इन दैट वी हैव सीन वॉट इज मेडिकल पैरासाइटोलॉजी इट डील्स विद द पैरासाइट विच इंफेक्ट एंड प्रोड्यूस डिसीज इन ह्यूमन इन ह्यूमन बींग्स and then we have seen what is parasite so parasite it's a living organism which depends on a living host for its survival and uh, it derives nutrition uh, for its survival and to life uh, and to complete its life cycle so we have seen that uh, all the uh, living organisms it belongs to five kingdoms in that we have seen protozoa which belongs to protista kingdom and uh, helminths which belongs to uh, animalia kingdom and uh, this helm protozoology and helminthology are the two branches of parasitology which deals with the study of protozoa and helminths respectively then we have seen the general classification then after that we have seen uh, classification of protozoa and classification of uh, helminths in that also the classification of nematodes we have seen uh, the classification uh, uh, we have classified uh, according to the habitat for the nematodes and then in the part 2 we will see a uh, few definitions which will help in understanding all the parasites so first one is types of parasites we will see so ectoparasite what is ectoparasite it does not this parasite does not enter into the body and uh, which leaves on the external surface of the host example is head lice and uh, other example is sarcoptes scabi uh, parasitic mite the mite producing scales so the term infestation is used when the parasitic disease occurs due to ectoparasite second so, one is endoparasite so a parasite which leaves in the body which can enter in, in the body of a host is an endoparasite so all protozoa and helminthic parasites of human beings are endoparasites and the term infection is used when parasite disease occur due to endoparasite so ectoparasite in that parasite which cannot enter into the body uh, and uh, it presents on the external surface of the body here it can enter into the body and all protozoa and helminthic parasites uh, or of human beings are endoparasites obligate parasite so it's an absolute parasite so organisms which cannot exist without their host are known as obligate parasite example is malarial parasite plasmodium species the type is facultative parasite so organisms under favorable conditions enter into human body uh, till then it is present into soil and water so example is neglaria pollini this is also belongs to amoeba which is a free living parasite but under favorable condition it enters into human body these accidental parasites so organisms which infect an unusual host are known as accidental parasites so echinococcus granulosa infects human beings accidentally and leads to hydatid disease so dog tape worm echinococcus granulosa also called dog tape worm so accidentally it uh, infects uh, human beings one is aberrant parasites so these parasites infect a host where it cannot live or develop further so uh, example is toxocara canis these parasites are known as uh, aberrant or wandering parasites so we have seen types of uh, parasites now we will uh, see the host and types of host so host is defined as an organism that harbors the parasite and provides shelter and nourishment to the latter so what host uh, do it uh, give shelter and nourishment to the parasite and hosts can be insect animals and human beings so firstly we will see the definitive host there are four types of host definitive host indefinite host intermediate host and reservoir host so the first one is definitive host the definitive uh, the host in which the parasite undergoes uh, sexual reproduction is called definitive host so in one example is uh, 
mosquito because in malarial parasites sexual reproduction takes place in mosquitoes thus uh, mosquitoes are the definitive host in definitive host so this is also called parathenic host the host in which larval stage of parasite survives but does not develop further he is called parathenic host so here we can see the larval stage only it do does not uh, develop further so intermediate host the host in which the larval or asexual stages of a parasite are found is called intermediate host so example is in malaria parasites asexual multiplication takes place in human beings so we said in definitive host uh, sexual reproduction undergoes in malaria parasite in mosquitoes but here asexual multiplication uh, takes place in malaria parasites in human beings so uh, we can see both uh, only one larval or asexual stages of a parasite here only the larval stage we can see it cannot develop further in indefinite host reservoir host so it is a host that harbor the parasite and acts as an important source of infection to other susceptible hosts so this type of host is called reservoir host example is dog so other susceptible in host can be human zoonosis we will see zoonosis what is zoonosis so here the infection transport transports from animals to human beings through vector so what is vector it is an agent usually arthropod that transmits an infection from one human being to another human being so vectors are of two types biological and mechanical so biological vector uh, fly acts as a biological vector of uh, trypanosoma brucei while house fly acts as a mechanical vector amebiasis so house fly transfers its of intermeba histolytica from infected feces to foot the host and parasite relationship so an association which is formed between host and parasite may be divided into following types so the first one is symbiosis second one is a commensalism and the third one is parasitism so symbiosis in this association both host and parasite leave each other benefitly without helping each other can't leave and uh, none of them suffers any harm from association so commensalism in this association parasite only is driving the benefit uh, without causing any injury to the host and uh, a commensal is capable of living a independent life third one is parasitism so in this association parasite derives benefit and uh, host gets nothing in return and always suffers uh, from injury and the parasite cannot be independent life so yeah the three types are commensalism parasitism and symbiosis host and uh, the parasite relationship so with this we have done with introduction and classification of uh, parasitology so next topic i am coming up uh, with uh, intermeba histolytica and uh, yeah thank you